Hello everyone. The date today is September, wait, sorry, 2018, September, which is 9. First, so Saturday. First. Um, so yeah, I have some things to do uh, later on today, so I just thought yeah, I'll do a video early in the morning. And then, I don't know if I'll be able to submit it later tonight, but I'm hoping that I get at least submitted early in the morning tomorrow morning. So, what am I going to do right now? I'm going to basically do uh, animation and specifically we'll try this time the second principle, which is anticipation. Yes. So, uh, I guess we'll still do the ball, but this time we'll do it starting at the bottom and then it'll jump up. So, it'll start like right here, it'll jump up, and then it'll end up right here. So start here, move down, jump, and then you know drop down here. So let's start on. I'm doing it left, right, right to left because everybody does it left to right. So I'm gonna try doing something different, which is right to left. And it'll look weird because probably because most people probably know it as oh it's easy doing it from. Actually, I don't know. I should probably actually. Yes, I know how layers work. Um, I should probably create a ground. Let's see. Just to make sure that, uh, you know. Yeah, just to make sure that the ball, like we know where the ball is starting and then where the ball is ending. Instead of, you know, the bottom, which can get clipped off, and then, so yeah. This makes it easy. Back to layer two. Okay, so we start off with the ball here. So let's see. It's a hairball because I am bad at sketching. No, I am very good at sketching. But I don't make very detailed like these types of details make it seem as though it's something that is done. So whatever, it looks like a hairball. Uh next frame oh no, not twenty-four. Okay. Next frame. Next frame. This frame. And gotta turn on onion skinning right here. Is that onion skinning so? Um, actually wait, no, I should probably do extreme, so, I guess it'll start bending here, uh, that's one, it'll jump from, let's see, it starts here, where it starts bending, then, I guess I can draw that, um, and I'll also probably make it so that, you know, it goes from, on. Okay, there we go. So it'll start from here, it'll bend back a bit, so it'll bend back and it'll move a little bit back so it anticipates moving the other side. So, yeah. Now I've asked the obligatory question, how's everyone been? Still talking to the void. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been doing. So yeah, there's my potato bubble ball. Okay, so that's the. Let's see, this is the flat. This one will be. I guess. I don't know. Uh, maybe I can move that. Move that one over. So this. Then this, then this, so there will be one intermediate, then it'll go to this potato ball. Um, after the potato ball goes, um, I don't know, let's see, 6, 9, 12, 15, um, you know what, 6 I guess is fine for, no, I guess, I'm not sure, 
Maybe I'll do five. Five will be fine for when it's in the air jumping. Um, then nine. Twelve. Will we say twelve? Yeah, we'll say twelve is fine for that. It'll drop back. Well, let's see. Now we'll work with this right now. Um, I'll draw the intermediate. Oh, no, keyframes first. Keyframes. Um, so let's see. I should probably also take this off because, uh, where is it? Well, that, I shouldn't remove the frame, but I don't know. How, how do you turn off a frame? Maybe I should just do onion skin to. What, what is this? Oh. So that's how that works. Okay. So there's that. Close this. And then go to here. Yep, I see the other ball. So, what does that ball do? Um, I don't know. Jumps up. Jumps up from there, so it goes like this. Um, so this starts here. I don't know why I keep this like this keeps happening. So it starts jumping up from here. Does this have the same volume as the other two balls? Actually, I don't even know if the the squashed one has the same volume as the first one. I don't know. Maybe I'll fix that. Let's see what I could fix this with. Uh, Go to erasers, erase this. Maybe it needs to be a little bit larger. Starting there, I can make it a little larger and then it'll work. Back to pencil number two. Then So we do that. Now that seems a little bit more reasonable. Um, then we go to this one, which if I put the volume in there, it's like, would, I, would that squash that volume? We'll say yes, so that, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't intuitively know if the volume is right. It's very hard to look at 2D shapes and see if the volume is right. When I'm looking at volume, it should be area. These are 2D shapes. Whatever. Um, the area should be roughly the same. Okay then. Then the next extreme will be going up here. We'll say it hangs somewhere up there. Let's see, it's this size, so. This size, okay. So yeah, going up with some more fine pencil. These are just the guiding lines for, I guess, the the true pencil later on. At least I can outline it better, so it'll look cleaner and crisp and stuff. So yeah, is that. Um, let's see, it should be equal. Uh, let's see, five there, so it'll hang for three, four, five, six, six empty frames, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, so that means it'll be 19 when that happens. That seems right, right? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, and it'll be 19. So there's that. Uh, add the new frame. Let's see. So at that moment, uh, it'll be like this, except in the reverse direction. Or the, the inver inverse, inverse, converse? I don't know. The other direction. Mirrored direction on, on this axis. You see, it, it's mirrored along this axis. So, um, 
Yeah. Uh, okay then. That seem right? I guess that seems right. I'm not going for a perfect ball shape right now because this is just supposed to be the sketch, so I hope I get to do it a bit better later. Um, I hope I do that. I hope I don't forget to, uh, you know, outline this. Well, let's see. Um, and then it should come to rest at 24. So the two second animation. Um, let's see, so is that... It'll squash a bit, like it'll squash here, here. So at 20, 21, it'll squash, it'll be squashed like, like this, this, um, the long way. And then at 23, it'll slowly come back up, and then at 24, it'll be the, I guess, back to the start. Well, back to the start of, here's the animation, so. Yeah. Don't, don't forget to add a new frame. Don't be like last time where you kept duplicating frames and you got weird things happening. So let's see, uh, contact here, we'll say, uh, goes this way. I don't want it to go off. Maybe I did, did, did it too close. Oh. Yeah, I did it too close. That was way too close. You know, I'll just assume that this edge that's coming down here in that context there. No, this edge right here. That would seem maybe more believable. There is my potato ball again. These potato balls, because they squash and stretch very, very much like a. Actually, no, they're not potatoes. The potatoes don't stretch and squash them. It's like a water balloon. That's what it was. A water balloon that's very elastic and does lots of water stuff. You can move with the water. Um, oh wait, no, that was supposed to be 21. 21. Let's scrub through this. How does it look? Do, and then jump, and then stop, and then squash, and then 24 will be... The uh, final frame, which is just this, which is the ball. So it should just be the ball. Now it's looking like an onion. So my first one was a hairball. The, 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 it, it, so it starts as a hairball and ends as an onion. Okay, now it's no longer an onion, but it was an onion. Does that look the same? Let's see. And, and well, mm, I don't know why that doesn't look the same. Go back. Go back. Go back. Keep going back. See, this looks like an onion. I think that's as far as I can go back. Oh well. So if I make it a little bit. Okay, I guess that works. The rest like that. Jump, and then stop, and then now I can start doing some intermediate frames. Okay, so some intermediate frames here. Um, this one moves back, so I guess the contact point here would be somewhere in between. Dang it. Maybe I should start here so that it looks so it looks like it's, it it is actually in between this and that. So do the in between there should be in between. So I guess it'll be here where that happens. So yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's right. I don't think that looks right. Maybe it's too small still. Okay, I guess we can't do undo's anymore. Time to erase. Erase, 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 erase. More erase. And then you go back, and then back to number 
two. Okay, that, that might this might seem a little better because yeah, this seems a little bit better, but not a whole lot better. This is, this is supposed to be a sketch. A sketch is supposed to tell me where it's supposed to go, not how it's supposed to look. Just you know, pair so let's see. Starts off with a ball, then squashes, then squashes more. We should squash more like. I don't know. Okay, then jump. Then squash, jump, squash, jump, squash, jump, squash, jump, squash, jump, squash, jump. If I looked at it like this, so yeah, that's how it looks. If I play it. Maybe I should make it a little bit closer, so go this way one, move these two forward one, so it's, does that look better? Yeah, like that elastic boom, so that it jumps up faster. Um, I guess we could do an in-between here, between nine, okay, I guess so. Um, yeah, it'll be closer to this, and at here, you'll see... So at here, you'll see... let's see... It should be near this, and it should be slowly elliptical. Oh no, not elliptical, uh, circular. Maybe I should make it still more... I just want it to hang in the air a bit, so it'll go like this, this, this. We'll make the duplicate on the other side, which is uh, 15, yeah. 15, so that's... Uh, yeah. So this should be like this, so it goes like a Venn diagram, a small sliver of intersection. Maybe I drew the ball too big for this. I'm not sure. Well, I'm always not sure, but why am I not sure? Because uh, the ball doesn't look... The, the area of the ba ball doesn't look right. As if, you know, the ball one like the ball slightly shrinks and expands and stuff. And stuff. What does stuff mean? It shrinks and expands. I guess that's the only really two things that happened in this case. Yeah, this these two balls are smaller than this ball. And I didn't make them long enough to encapsulate. Okay, then so I'll I'll do a little bit more. So if I start doing this, I mean that doesn't help. Maybe I'll fix it later. Maybe this will become a bad habit of mine. I fix it later, I don't fix it at all though. So yeah, I guess I'll make one or two more frames, one here. Oh wait, no, wrong, wrong way, that's... You know what, I'll just make this... You know what, just to remind me... Uh... Finished... And then we'll make this one the... Rough... Okay. Guess my brain was telling me I should do that, or else I'll forget. So there's that, um, and back to the pencil. So here the ball has left the ground, but it's not in the, it's not there anymore yet. So I guess I'll do. Did that really happen? Dang it! Uh, I just could to keep doing that. Oh. Well. Got a little bit of design that is designed, that is designed with. Um, 
unless I want to contribute to the source code to fix this, but uh, I'm not that good of a computer scientist yet. Um, why is this all uneven and stuff? That looks like a ball. Okay. Maybe I'm just in a weird uh, arm position. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it works like this. Uh, I'm not sure. Keep saying that. Please stop saying that. You, you should start being sure of yourself a bit more. Okay. I'm not in Okay. Um, so the ball looks way too small to be correct. I just wanted this to be a little bit more elongated so that it would be better. Um, how long has this been going on for? I don't know. I should probably... I don't know, will I be able to do the finish? Maybe. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll make a finished version of this to see if I can do better. If you know, I don't have the, you know, stuff to do. I hope maybe I can wake up early tomorrow morning as well and do that. You know, I'll pick. I'll let. I'll let the future me decide. You know this. Um. So there's that. There, there is no animation here, so I'll do the enemy the ball here. Do that. Uh, move it back. I guess like this again. Maybe that's what happens. It's like so it's selecting the I don't know whatever else whatever the mouse selects, but then it can't do you know paint on that, so paint stops. But there should be a way like okay, so you're on the canvas. You should be canvassing right now. You you should you can paint on the canvas, so you're allowed to do that. But if you're not on the canvas, then switch over to mouse mode and don't. To keep the information about the mouse, but don't, um, I don't know, don't uh, delete the mouse. Wait, don't delete the mouse information and don't delete the paint information. So you can change the mouse, you can change between mouse and pen, this, the paint mode easily, and maybe there's a way to do that. And I'm just being, you know, stupid by not doing that. Oh, well. that's what you do when you learn. You gotta be stupid in order to learn. Mm, maybe I'll make this here. Or here. Let's see how it looks. Okay, end is, we'll say, 24. So, it'll, let's run through this. Okay, maybe maybe it was fine at point three. It's not crooked. Yeah, it looks like a jumping ball. Everyone can see that, right? Yep, jumping ball on the moon. It's a jumping ball on the moon. So yeah, I guess I'll end it for here right now, and then, um, I guess tomorrow I'll make a finish, fin finalized, finished version of this. Yeah. Anyways, that'll be all for me today. Goodbye.